Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G. Trump, everybody, fake baby daddy, boss of the street, man. And today we in, we in the studio with it, y'all. Brotherville Entertainment. Now, let me just tell y'all this little quick story now. Now, earlier today, I was not feeling good, you know. I was feeling a little bad, you know, my stomach was, couldn't settle and you know, so I really just needed some time to lay down, but I still kept getting woke up and people bothering me, and then when I did get some rest, I had time to just think and lay back and relax, relax right? A lot of time I do my best thinking when I'm asleep or when ain't nobody bothering me. When you shut out everything and you just got your eyes closed and you just running whatever happened through your mind. Now, y'all all watch the show and y'all hear me always talk about, man, I'm done, I'm retired. I'm doing this, y'all. And if you've been watching this show, you know you can see me coming up on the numbers and trying to make the show look better for this how it look and sound, right? Now, why would drug dealers be still calling me trying to get me to get back in the game? That don't make no sense not do it. You would think if you selling drugs and you doing so good at it, why you calling me? Huh? Why you calling me? I know why, but do y'all know why? I know why. Because they know, oh, if I get back down, I'm good at it. You know, and I won't even say good at it because you go end up in the same place. But they know I would probably make a little more money than the average motherfucker because I ain't bound by no restrictions, y'all. I'm at that level where I can go over here with the upset and with my gang at. Other people can't do that. They might can fuck with their gang, but they can't get the money with the upset. So they need somebody who can do both. He can fuck with them niggas over there and he can get over here. But I'm retired. And so why would they be trying to get me to do that? Because they got hidden agendas, y'all. They want to get this shit oh, front to me and have me ripping and running all day while they sitting at home with their feet up. Fuck that. I wish I would. I said it once and I'll say it again, bro. I'm motherfucking retired. Leave me alone. Stop fucking calling my phone. If you ain't got nothing legal to talk about, don't fucking call me. If you ain't calling to help me with this fucking show, don't fucking call me. And that goes for my drug dealers and my motherfucking subscribers. If it's not legal, G Shrimp don't want to talk about it. Period. We can be friends, you can call, tell me about your day, all that, that's fine. But other shit, I don't want to deal with it, bruh. Y'all hear me talking about Young Thug and all these people all day talking about how they making a mistake and I'm damn near going through the same thing if I would let somebody pull me back into some shit. That's crazy. Man, I wish I would. I wish I would, y'all. And that people be really wanting to use you. They act like, y'all wish I could replay some of the recordings. Man, I know you ready to get out, man. I'm just trying to make sure you good, man. See, I'm going to put you down because I know you a good nigga. I can throw you a few of them things and you, boy, you going to get your money. Ain't nobody else out here you can do that to? The fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't trying to help me. What, you trying to help me get back to jail? Really? The fuck out of here. And then imagine that, y'all. And this is what you call irony. And then just sometime when you see the sight. So I had another friend comes over. I see him. Well, he didn't come over. I see him out there when I go outside. He want to know, can he stay with me for a few days? His girl put him out. I said, no. Man, come on, man. Just with it. I said, no, nah, bro. I helped you out, I think, last year. Let me see. Last year, about this same time, or... Well, a little bit later, I did the same shit for you last year. And you in the same situation, bro. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. You got sticky fingers, bro. Which is the same reason your bitch probably done put you out. And then the big picture is this. People be doing things they don't want nobody to know. And think we can't see it. Sometimes these crackheads really think we don't know that they fucking with crack. And I'm telling him, man, you need to clean yourself up, bro. You getting... 
too far down. You fucked up. You used to have a job and you know you did, did your little thing on the side, but now you just a full-fledged crackhead. It ain't the same, no. I don't sell drugs no more. So I used to look at you like, oh, that's my customer right there. That's one of my good customers. If I ain't selling drugs no more, to me, you're just a crackhead now. You ain't my customer no more. And I ain't saying I'm going to treat you bad because you're a crackhead, but you can't live with me, motherfucker. What the fuck I want you living with me for? No, I have no drugs, bruh. Step. You either try to get yourself straight or I ain't no use of talking to me about it. You know, all that bullshit, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I got my own problems, bro. My own problems. I'm focusing on what I'm doing and trying to stay out the way, y'all. I got grandkids, I told you, that's out here trying to get out here. And I, you wouldn't believe they... <laughs> you wouldn't believe this shit is connected. I just don't want to put it all the way out there, but you wouldn't believe these two stories is connected. But no motherfucker wants to get the general to sell drugs when you could be over here demonstrating me some other situations that need adjusting to. How can you try to uh, slick talk a motherfucker that you know know better? You slave, save all that slick talking and shit for the street, bro. Don't don't come to me with it. I'm one of them guys. I, I very seldom use street slang. I do not like it. I try to make you understand it. And now then, y'all might hear me say, woo, woo, woo. That's because that's part of the story. That's irrelevant. You don't really even need to hear that. I'm not going to even bore you with the details. Or it might be something to save somebody from being incriminated. Maybe I don't want to use a name or something like that. That's it. But I don't be sitting here telling my story. Hey, Joe, he was at the pedal. And you said, pedal? What the fuck is the pedal? The hospital. Well, why you just say hospital? Oh, I'm trying to sound slick. I'm really dumb to the motherfucker. But I just want you to think I'm real hip. I'm real hip. I, I ain't no smart motherfucker. Oh, uh, you could stop. I guess I know you wouldn't say that, huh? Yeah. Get that fuck on away from me, man. That shit bothered me sometimes, y'all. And you know, I don't, I try not to pay attention to a lot of things, but I be checking out a lot of haters I got in the comment that's mad because I cussed out dude, he's still a bitch, fat ass motherfucker, that nigga, whole ass YouTuber crying about some pictures. Bitch, you and every nigga that's on my page that came from over there can go the fuck back over there. You know, I see somebody said, you can't even hardly talk, Jake. Yeah, because uh, I'm having surgery on my mouth, bro. I probably am pronouncing words different. Get off my channel, bro. Get off my channel. Or something happened to your ass like your internet go off. You know what I mean? Your motherfucking internet go, go off for no reason. Why? Because you fucking with the general. One of God's people. The chosen one, bro. You better find somebody else to play with. Leave me alone. I'm too peaceful, y'all. You can't buy this shit. You hear me? You cannot buy this shit. Listen to this. Nothing. It's nothing. It's not. No sounds being made. And, and to the fuck I make them. And that's how I like it. That's how you able to think your clearest. When you able to relax like that. Don't let nobody have you thinking you got to be at every party, at every event, when hell, you can't even hardly go to the store without niggas getting shot, police chasing people and running each other over and shit like that. you like, damn. Don't stay in the house too, especially if your house ain't comfortable, you can't do this. If you ain't got TV, radio, and everything you need to be comfortable, yeah, maybe you need to go outside. If I didn't have a TV, I'd probably be at somebody else's house too, yeah. If I didn't have cable, I didn't have shit. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. I heard one person tell me, uh, I said something about some quote. Who cares? Nobody cares. I said, you on my page talking about nobody cares. You care, asshole, because why would you be here, goofy? That's how stupid some of these people comments be. It's more shit going on important in the world. Yeah, well, guess what? I get paid for my fucking opinion, y'all. And that is important to me. 
Even if I turn my camera on and just talking like I am not telling y'all about my day. Why I do that? Because my subscriber told me, Shrimp, sometimes people just want to see you, bro. It don't mind if you ain't talking about nothing. They just want to see you because they fuck with you, bro. They ain't seen you all day. They, they got my boy right there. Damn, there you go. Let me see what he's talking about. Oh, okay, well, he just talking about what happened earlier today. And I appreciate it. Everybody that fuck with me, legitimately, I fuck with y'all. I appreciate it. That's why y'all be seeing my number up there. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, right? Hit that like button. That's why my number be up there, my cash app, all that. Whatever you want to do, you feel like donating to the channel, bro, use the cash app. You feel like giving me a call, give me a call. I got a bunch of subscribers got my number, and they just call me out the blue and say something. And I be like, okay, we chop it up. You know, I also want y'all to hit that merchandise, man. Got some of them hats. Do I got to start wearing all of my shit? You know, also I got to learn. I got to, uh, well, I ain't gonna say learn. I got to go in there. I got some codes from Lowe's. I got, uh, some merchandise. The affiliate market, y'all. I'll pull that up tomorrow. I was having a hard time hooking it up. They want me to tag it into my videos. But I got to log in to that, that. And take my clothes offline to connect that to my store so I can tag it. Mm, I'm about to Google it a little bit more and uh, get it straight, y'all. I'm going to put it up there. That's the type of shit I be working, worrying about, y'all, and working on. You think I want to worry about trying to hustle and sell some drugs? I wish the fuck I would. I wish the fuck I would, y'all. Even if you be in the middle, man, and ain't really doing much, you can get in trouble. Because if somebody phone tap, and then they always, y'all really don't know how this shit go. I can be fucking with some niggas. If they ain't got no rank, and I do, they put the case on me. Look at uh Young Thug, y'all. Y'all been watching his trial all that time, and you like, man, this nigga, this ain't no motherfucking kingpin shit, or this ain't no... Rico, they just put all the, they took all the goofies that was around him, gave him a case and connected to Young Thug and trying to make a Rico out of it. That's Fannie Mae Willis, though. That's that bitch. She did that. And it all started because that bitch and her feelings because they knocked down that fat nigga, that first motherfucker. Him. They, she mad about that nigga, y'all. Nut. The first motherfucker that got killed. And after that, she trying to find a case. They ain't even trying to solve the murder and uh find out who killed him. They more concerned with trying to prove a Rico against Young Thug. And it ain't there. Y'all be better off trying to find out who killed the motherfucker. I think they already know, y'all. But no, they don't want it. They don't care about who it was. That nigga probably so low class now. But he know Young Thug. Let's see if we can get him connected to him. Let me ask yourself this, y'all. Do y'all really think Young Thug rented a car, gave it to some of his guys and said, hey, go kill them, and the car in his name? It was more like they had the car moving around because they don't own their own, and they ran into some static, and it happened while he was in that car. Don't think you think that boy went put no hit out on no motherfucker while they was in a car that he rented and paid for. Come on, man. Come on. The same shit that happened to me, y'all. The same shit. It's just having soldiers and they start using your shit. If they get into an altercation, whoever name that car's in, it's going to get the heat. Bottom line. You might say, this happened to my sister. Yeah, when her baby daddy shot a motherfucker in her car, they kicked her door down, break the house, and... Yeah, that's how they go play, y'all. That's exactly how they go play. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow, man, with some more details. I really just felt like venting and telling y'all what's on my mind. I feel better now, y'all. I really needed some rest. I think I'm sick because the doctor told me it's going to be two more weeks before I can bust out my million-dollar smile, y'all. And I'm fucking mad about it. But that's all right. I'm still going to be here. You know why? Because I'm not doing nothing illegal. So two weeks from now. I'll still be here. But we can't say that if I start back hustling, y'all. 
Y'all be sitting there watching the screen like, damn, T-Shirt ain't made a video in a week. In a week. I want some of y'all that smart if y'all don't, don't see me in a week. Run my motherfucking name. Type it. Run it through the county jail somewhere. You ever looking for a motherfucker, ladies? If you ever looking for a man, don't be sitting here thinking, this motherfucker left with my cock girl. He ain't came back in two weeks. He probably went to Tampa Bay and seen that other bitch. He's the fuck. Bitch, run his name through the county jail and probably go to the town and look and see if your cop there. I guarantee you it probably is. And he in jail. And guess what? The town might not rush to call you. They let the shit run up. By the time they call you, you owe them $3,000. <laughs> yeah, you might owe them $3,000 motherfucking dollars. Because now that I think about it, I never got a call from the pound. I always knew my cop went because I got caught that night and we was on it. Other than that, I don't think the pound sit there and call people from every time a cop is drunk in there. <laughs> no. So if you missing somebody, don't think he just left. He ain't just left. Check it out. People go to jail and be in there and it's like time stop, y'all. And guess what? When they come home, they want to pick up right where they left off. Or they think, damn, I remember Shrimp used to stay in this crib. I'm going to see if he's still in here, man. I got people that went to jail, y'all, come home 10 years later and pull right on this side of this house and they could tell what kind of car I'm riding. They pull up. No, nah, Shrimp ain't got that. They first they'll look for anything with rims. They don't see it. Okay, well, okay, this car tinted up like a motherfucker. This shrimp car right here. And nine times ten, they be right, y'all. They be right. And they hit the horn because I own this motherfucker. You know? And there's some other shit. Why would I go somewhere else to pay bills when I got my own motherfucker house? Do that make any sense to y'all? I'm going to go stay at another apartment and pay rent when I own. I'm sitting here with my feet up. I ain't worrying about nothing. I own this motherfucker. I'll do pay my light bill and everything like that. The internet bill and I'll be good. No, I need to go get me a big house and struggle. I'm too peaceful right now. You know what a better word is, y'all? Unbothered. <laughs> I am unbothered with any of the bullshit that goes on in Chicago because I know what it is y'all I stay away from that and I don't have to worry about nothing I know how to stay out the way out of trouble would you believe a motherfucker OD today y'all two houses down like on the next block I mean motherfucker OD the guy I see every day walking around here he be high as a kite uh, but I guess he high as he want to be now. He floating good. Mm -hmm. He floating real good. And uh, that's what he wanted to do. He didn't want to correct his life. Hey, you know they had police everywhere, y'all. They was out here. You know the, the dicks was out here. They had to wait on the corner. You know they had to call his family. You see people pulling up. And you see the cars and shit that pulling up. You like, see his people had a little money. But they just let them go like, man, we can't fuck with you while you in your addiction. A lot of these people, y'all, that are out here on the street, they're out here because they want to be out here. They don't want to stop doing what they need to do. They don't want to stop getting high. They have the ability to fix their own situation. A lot of these people you see that's homeless, people have money. And they could go home if they did one thing. You can't get high in my house. I'll let you stay here, but you ain't going to be running in and out all night. They can't do something simple like sleep through the night, y'all. Sleep through the night. Let one of them come stay there. You be sleep two in the morning. You know your house. You hear wind. You know people don't understand. Even crackheads don't understand. When you open a door in a house... And the wind open, it shake windows and shit. The back door that normally be still, it moves just a little bit because, you know, open that door and the wind went through that. The windows that ain't secured, you can feel them move a little bit. So people know if they sleep 
Somebody open that front door. Yeah. Somebody open that front door. How you think people got that and get the advantage if they sleep when a motherfucker trying to sneak in their house? If a nigga break in their house, get the door open and he think he's sneaking in. He creeping, but guess what you heard that? Boom, boom. You heard that back door move because he opened that front. And you can grab that pistol like this motherfucker. If I hear some footsteps. I mean, that shit bothers me, y'all. My nephew do it sometime. He comes. And I can hit my door open. You know, I got an apartment on this side. My nephew got an apartment on the back side. But he could come over here if I ain't got my door locked, right? I can hear that door when it opens. And he, he. And I'd be like, hey, nephew. You better make some motherfucking noise, nigga. Because it sounds like you're trying to creep in here. Don't do that. If you open that door, you're supposed to say, Unk! Yeah! Oh, okay, this me, man. I'll just let you know. Yeah, all right, because you know I heard it. I can't see what for shit, y'all. But I hear very well. I hear very well. That's why y'all see me when I be reading shit. When y'all see me reading that shit the other day, I had that phone right up there. I really had to do that. You know, let me tell you this, and this is not even a joke. I used to go to the eye doctor, right? <laughs> and the motherfucker eye doctor would be like, read the smallest letter on the chart. I said, E. He said, <laughs> stop playing. He said, read the smallest letter on the chart. I said, E. He like, you serious? Yeah, I can't read that second line. What? That's right up under there. He like, God damn, boy, you need glasses. How the fuck you been walking around here? Blindly, motherfucker. Blindly. You know, that's probably why I able to predict so much shit because I'm walking not by sight by faith as they say y'all I can't see shit so I'm walking with the spirits I'm walking with the Lord y'all and now they I'm walking look up Trump look to the left Trump I'm telling you I'll be called listen y'all I swear to God I'm gonna get me a fucking lottery ticket I'm gonna get me a lottery ticket I told y'all the person OD'd in the building over there right me and my partner was out earlier. We was just having a conversation. And then, I think cause he had caught me when the police started coming and shit. We trying to figure out what's happening and shit. I see somebody walking through. A guy that made this man that be down there. Another mechanic that slash crackhead. You know, I see him walking and he got some chick with him. And, uh. We like, what the fuck going on? Police over here, they in the back, it's a car here, you know, we just watching, seeing what's going on. You know what I said? I said, that nigga ain't did nothing but let somebody come over there, getting high in that basement and ain't no fuck around and OD. <laughs> That's what I said, y'all, you hear me? This is exactly what I said. So it took maybe about an hour or two, probably longer than that, for us to get the facts. I said, yeah, and uh, they probably down there in that basement. I'm just talking. I said, yeah, motherfucker, you know, because the people living in the building, they get the stash shit in the basement. I said, they might have was down there stealing something, and the lady walked in and said, oh, she had a heart attack and fell out. You know, I'm just saying all the scenarios it could be, though. Guess what? Exactly what I said. The motherfucker od and they had been down there stealing. My man, like, God damn, Trump. You know you be just getting it, don't you? I'm like, man, shh, I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know what it is. But I know I be seeing it plain this day. Because the game don't change. You know what I mean? The players change, but the game remain the same. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. The players change, but the game remain the same. That's why niggas is study calling me. Hey, Joe, I know you get out. You go woo. No, man. I'm good. I'm good. I I'm straight. I'm right where I want to be, y'all. Right where I want to be. All I got to do is keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm blessed, bro. You feel me? Hit that like button, y'all. And 
Subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, voice of the street, man. I'm a plant you now, dig you later. I'm out of here.